I think God is in the trees and amongst us. I think that we've become soft by design and that it's time to suit up, man up, toughen up, educate ourselves. That there will always be sycophants and sellouts and degenerates and antisocials and you know, there will always be the spectrum. But right now there just aren't enough good guys doing the good work affecting the big picture. And I see it'll be on the individual to start an entire new infrastructure. And they'll then meet a second. And then they'll meet a third. And that'll happen everywhere spontaneously. It's probably already happening. Max Egan was talking about life skills. And uh, about... He showed a registry where it was kind of like a work accomplishment book where you would do labor for somebody and then they would do some kind of compensation for you and it would keep track of that. So guy A built a fence and guy B in return gave guy A like uh, a queen bee and taught him how to make his own honey, you know, or something like that. Or the example Max used was taught him how to make glue. Or, you know, maybe you uh, offer aid to livestock or you help somebody dig out, pump out a well or something, or you get the idea. And what we have is a labor of economy and mastercraft. See, paying and being compensated with money doesn't develop you. It just reinforces the necessity for this materialistic crap. What if your lifestyle, your standard of living, was based off of your work ethic and your honor and your moral compass? Well, see, there's a lot of people that wouldn't go for that, right? There's even particular tribes and possibly even races that would be appalled at the very notion of having to earn their lifestyle through work and effort and practice and skill and virtue. I think a lot about the Boy Scouts. I think a lot about Special Forces. I think a lot about homesteading and farming and earthships. I think a lot about history and cycles. And it seems to me that the internet is constant information at our disposal. But it's a crutch. You know, the mind is so powerful. We could withhold all the information that's relevant to us. We don't need to lean on it. We used to know our phone number and our addresses and <laughs> we We've been dumbed down. We've become so dependent on something else. Well, it's time to become independent. And how do you do that? There's grief about ultra-independency and hyper-independence is like a communist trick. No, that's true. but. What about just general competency? What about the guy that can build his own house and take care of his own critters and raise his own family and help neighbors, you know? Maybe a little bit more like Little House on the Prairie. But I'd like to see, like me, I, for me, I don't want to buy land just to have liberals move in next door, or the government to skyrocket the price, or them to spray chemicals on it, or, you know, it's just a trap. 
why couldn't three other fellas like me pony up like 500 bucks or a grand and buy in a trust or a church or a corporation between the four of us uh, the shittiest piece of land imaginable and see what we couldn't do in like six months or a year I mean, maybe a season but I want stuff to grow and who's to say at the end of this time we weren't more personable we weren't more independent we weren't more well-rounded we didn't have a fantastic head start on a bunch of terribly important skills and crafts you know um, I know that I have a lot of shortcomings and that as smart as I may be I, I miss a lot <laughs> I miss a lot but if you had a handful of guys that were motivated and dedicated for moral reasons for like upright Christian save the kids do the right thing fight evil reasons and they put their egos on hold and they decided that they we're going to embark on a journey to be better men. Then, <clears throat> after that year is up, that land now is self-sustaining. It has water and food and shelter and everything. It's, it's very much so improved. And so we'd get our investment back. It might even have notoriety, popularity. So we'd get our investment back. Or break even. <laughs> we think it's a scam, maybe it's sucker the next guy. Pyramid, Ponzi, whatever. Or you take your fourth share of whatever and then you go do it again or you start over or you've just, you know, you, you, you go back into the matrix but now you are fine tuned and you know the value of things and you're resourceful and, you know, maybe you've made some valuable friends along the way. Well, yesterday somebody was asking me about when I <laughs> when I tried out to be a Green Beret, and I said, you know what it did was, it taught me I could do so much more than I really thought that I could. Like, if I, I thought that I'm a five or something, no, no, I can go for a fifteen. You know, I can go without sleep for days and days. I can go without food for days and days. I can shuffle and and hump it and ruck for days and days. I didn't think I could. It taught me that we are all a lot more capable than we think we are. <laughs> Sometimes it just takes a lot of uh, focused pressure to push us there. But I'm appealing to the guys that have already been pushed there, The maybe the younger fellas that are ready to for the crucible, ready to be pushed. Because it is time for the for the world to see the next version of man, the the upright white Anglo Saxon Protestant, you know, the the revival of our roots as a nation, as a, a society, you know, the slumbering giant of the the noble gentleman and the capable civic-minded community leader it's waking back up it's coming back and it won't happen because of raindrops or because of a lottery it'll happen because we all learned it we got so fucking fed up with how it was and waiting for somebody else and listening to all the excuses that we said damn it I'll do it myself and here we go so I've been learning aquaponics, agriculture, um, I've been a mechanic, I, I was been, I've been in the army, I, I like to make things myself, fix things myself, grow, I like to think, I like to be objective, I like to challenge myself, I'm not afraid to sleep in the dirt, I'm not afraid to, to eat bugs, you know, I, I know what it is to suffer, and exposure to the elements isn't suffering like my soul suffers when I go along with this crap so I seek a better way that way is universal it's available to everybody if you want to get in contact with me and 
I don't know, work something out. If you guys, anybody out there is ready for the next step, ready to to challenge themselves or make a move, holler at me, let me know. This is a work in progress, but I never much like sitting on my ass and waiting. Good luck out there, my men. Take care.